In today's example, I'll show you how to configure BGP on a 40 gig firewall. So just taking you through this lab, as you can see, it's a pretty basic setup. So what we have here is we have internet access, we have an internet gateway, and then we will have a BGP neighborship uh, set up between the 40 gig firewall and this uh, internet gateway, which in this lab is a Juniper uh, SRX that will simulate a router. And then we'll just use a private range for the point-to-point -point eBHP setup. And then we will have this uh, public range that will exist as, let's say, a DMZ behind the firewall with a test PC in that DMZ environment. So what we will do is from the internet gateway, we will advertise a default route to the 40 gate firewall. And then from the 40 gate firewall, we will, we will advertise this um, directly connected network which is behind the 40 gate. We will re-advertise that back to the internet gateway. And that way we will have complete routing uh, between the internet gateway and the 40 gate. And then obviously we will run a test from the test PC to the internet. So on the internet gateway, uh, we'll be doing that here because this is obviously in a private lab environment. So the actual internet exists you know beyond this so we'll just do a net on there but as you can see you know that the, the range tool is we, we are simulating a public network behind the um, 40 gate okay so very basic setup so we'll configure we'll start with the configuration on here we'll do uh, the bgp setup and then we will configure that part as well and then just add the required security policies for you know the traffic to uh, you know go towards the internet um, I've already done the configuration on this device, but we can just quickly go through that so you just so you can just see what's configured on you know on the Junos um, towards the 40 gate. So maybe let's uh, look at the uh, internet gateway configuration quickly. Let's quickly do a just do a show route. All right, so as you can see, we have a default route in the routing table of the uh, internet gateway. So as I said, it's a private range. So beyond this, we're doing a NAT to the actual internet. So just to test that we do have internet access from this device. So as you can see, that's the real Google DNS. Okay, so we know that the internet access is working fine. So let's uh, just do that same command again. Let's see what other routes we have. All right, so as you can see, that's just you know the, the normal routes that we have. And then um, this at the moment is the interface pointing to the firewall. So let's go to configure, edit protocols, BGP. Let's do a show. So as you can see, here's the uh, basic uh, BGP configuration towards the firewall. So obviously we'll be doing type external eBGP. I'm advertising a default route. So obviously this default route that we have here, I'm re-advertising it to the 40 gate. And obviously there's the 40 gate's IP address and the PRA is all right, let's start with the configuration on the firewall. All right, so first of all, what we obviously want to do is we want to configure the upstream interface or the interface that connects to the, I, you know, the internet gateway. So that will be port one. Let's just call it WAN 10.10.10.2 slash 30. We want to enable ping, say OK. And then let's just do an execute ping towards our peer just to make sure that we can actually Ping it. All right, so as you can see, we can ping it, and then we do a get router info PHP summary. All right, so as you can see, there's nothing showing yet. yet right? So we haven't configured PHP yet. Let's just minimize that. So we've got the point to point working now between the firewall, so on that private branch between the firewall and the internet gateway. So as you can see, currently we don't have any advanced routing activated, so let's go and activate, it, activate that quickly. Get advanced routing. And we switch that on. Let's go back to network. And now we have BGP. Okay. All right, so let's uh, local AS. So we said that that local AS will be that one. Okay. Let's put in a local AS. And then our neighbor is 10.10.10.1. .10 and our neighbor um, AS number. So, okay, so at the moment, uh, let's apply that. All right, so in, it's in the state idle. And now it's up. 
let's just confirm on the Juniper side, do a show PHP summary. Let's just get the full view of this. Established. Okay, cool. So let's do a show root receive receive protocol BHP from that neighbor. Okay, so no routes are being received from that neighbor. Let's say if we're receiving any routes from uh, Internet Gateway. So we do a get router info BHP neighbor 10 10 10 one thing that's roots. All right, so as you can see, we have a default route that we're learning. So if we actually do a ping, we should be able to get to the internet. Okay. Remember, we're getting, getting to the internet via that private, you know, via the private uh, 10 or 2 interface on the firewall. Okay. So what we want to do now is now we want to configure the DMZ. So let's go and set up our DMZ quickly. So our DMZ, as we know, it's connected on port two. Let's go set up our DMZ. And it's 196.223.1.1 slash 24. We want to enable ping. Let me say, oh, yeah, let's just make that uh, DMZ. Let me say, okay. All right, so now we have our DMZ configured. And now let's go to our lab. So here we have port two, which we just configured as the DMZ. And then we have our test PC in this DMZ range. So this is the DMZ range, like the so-called public range, which is behind the firewall. So we'll be re-advertising this network back to the IGW. So let's, if we go to the 48, let's see what options do we have. We have advertised dash roots. Okay, so we're not advertising anything yet. So if we go back to BHP, and we go and we enable, say, connected, we run the same command. Nothing yet. Yeah, so as you can see, now it's advertising basically all the connected routes. So I know there is, you can configure certain pref uh, prefix lists and then you can advertise only certain routes, but as I said, this is just a basic BGP setup. Uh, example. So as you can see, we are indeed advertising that public range to our peers. So let's just do a look upon our um, internet gateway. So as you can see, we are receiving the 196.223.1.0 um, from our peer. And then obviously, if we use the same command, we just say roots. We are advertising the default. So in theory, we should be able to now from our test PC be able to get to the internet. So first of all, let's just do a ping towards our local gateway. Sorry, I said typo. Ping one. Okay. Now if we do a ping towards Google DNS. All right, so as you can see, that's still not working. Um, so let's go and configure a security policy. And let's just call our policy internet. And we want to say from port two, which is DMZ facing port towards the internet, which is the internet facing port, source all, destination all, service all. So remember, we don't want to do a NAT. We want the traffic to originate from its original address. Okay, so we're just going to say, okay. And if we look at the original address of this server, so it's 1.10, okay, 223.1.10. Okay, so that's the original address. As you can see, the pings are starting to run now. So if we go back to the lab and we do a packet capture on the internet gateway, on interface one. Okay, so there's tra traffic running. So we just stop that. And then we say from the source, as you can see, this is just uh, ICMP then coming from the source to that destination. And that's it for this session. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hope to see you in the next one.